couple of weeks of Super League as well, so no surprises. First boot of the ball is from Jordan Abdul, and first clumsy error is from Lockie Miller, returning into the lead side after that hand injury, that hand, hand problem that left him out last week. Yeah, good afternoon, Dave. Good afternoon, everyone. That's not the Jordan Abdul kick we expected to force an Ella from Lachlan Miller. Obviously missed with illness. Jordan Abdul's kicking out of hand, exceptional. Not a particularly nasty kickoff and a mistake that just gifts the Catalan Dragons an opportunity so early in the game. Again, an opportunity they just wouldn't be expecting to have there. Well, remember that uh, the Catalans a little unsettled by the late withdrawal of Mike McMeekin with an injury problem. But it gives Julian Busquet, who's got the ball in his hand now, the chance to start the game. We were expecting him to be on the bench. He started last week. Ulrichs da Costa out of dummy half, a, a tester here. Romain Navarrete leads under pressure. Right from the start. Here's da Costa. Garcia the skipper. A little bit of mud flicking up from his boots as he steps back on the inside, which tells you a little about the heaviness of this pitch. It's with da Costa again. Uh, taken in by Abdul. Looking wide. Moore shakes one off. Looking all the way to Johnston. Johnston seeks a pass back on the inside, but all he finds is unfriendly foul. Ready to stop him in a muscular fashion. Da Costa, little shrug of the shoulders. Leeds hanging on. They're full of energy in these early stages, of course, so they'd expect to hold out. But Abdul now teases a potential kick, puts the pass away instead to Sirenum. And last play, oh, that's not top. Well, two clubs here, Harris, but the last of those gives Leeds some light relief. Yeah, Leeds will be delighted with how they defend it. It's just an error in the rock from Sirenan. Sirenan, who's had a bright start to his time at the Catalan Dragons. Leeds Rhinos and Ron Smith will be just delighted with that defensive effort. Catalan have got so many threats. Arta Morgan on that left-hand side looked like he was going to break Leeds down. They stripped them for numbers, but their defensive effort there is what they're going to need. If they want to compete with Catalan, Wigan, St. Helens, the big teams, they've got to defend like that. Well, it's going to be Leeds who get the uh, possession here, looking to clear their grounds, and as they do, Jenna has some information down on the touchline. Jenna? Yeah, Dave, I do, just on Mike McMeekin. He was injured in the warm-up. I'm told it's a lower back injury. So, as you said, Julian Busquet starts. Paul Seguier is uh, moved to the bench, and you've got Mathieu Lager, the 18th man. Thank you, Jenna. 18th man, of course, uh, this season is more relevant than it has been in past years because the chance of influencing the game is a little more likely with the new rules, of course. We'll explain if and when it happens. That's a good offload. Well, it would have been if he'd have found a man. Uh, a little bit of a scramble, and um, Lucky Miller has to recover a bit of ground. Falling with a pass over the top. My goodness, this is um, a little loose, but this is Leeds, and they're looking to play from deep. That is loose, and that is... Oh, there's an offload that is given away. Give it away to Tia Farge. And that's the issue maybe with playing hot and playing from deep in your own half is that you can just gift possession to teams and it's a gift here for Catalan Dragons. Never end with the drive, so that's just a gift for Farge. And here's Farge again trying to help create a Surinam. He's put down. Da Costa. Farge. Again, there's plenty on that left-hand side, but they track back towards the middle with Navarrete. Three to the right of Da Costa. The rest all lined up on that left-hand side. The play the ball's a little sluggish. Farge with a short pass. Was it forward? The South Stand thinks it was. Busquet gets the offload. Farge receives. So last play again here, Catalan. They've had a couple of these already on this Leeds line. Abdul with a chip over the top. It's a jump from in the field of play. It's a nicely measured kick that forces Leeds into a dropper. Yeah, it's a delicate touch from John Nadal. Sam Tompkins referenced the disguise. Well, he could pass or kick that ball. He kicks it so delicately. It's perfectly judged. It's literally inch perfect. Lewis Roberts has to jump from in the field. And Arta Romano with a fantastic chase. But it's not just the big booming kicks from Jordan Abdul that get you. It's the delicacy and the intricacy of his kicking game and the variety that blows my mind. Well, five minutes played so far, and um, everything has been at this end of the field, hasn't it, so far? A couple of Leeds errors just giving Catalan opportunities here to build some pressure again. Da Costa left to Garcia. Bounces in and bounces out and has another go and makes himself a handful. 
Five to go. 15 metres to cover. Da Costa again. Abdul once more. Inside for Busquet. Busquet just pushing and urging the way, but three defenders doing their job. Da Costa skipping left to Abdul. Abdul with a dummy. Can't trick his way through. So Catalan reshape. Go again. Da Costa, huge gap there. But it has recovered the Leeds defence in magnificent fashion. It looked too good to, to be true there for the Costa, but my goodness, how Leeds recovered well. Abdul again, the kick is a little flat. And it's taken superbly by Momorowski, and Leeds have it back. Yeah, Leeds have defended the line superbly well, structurally really well, but you've got to come up with big tackles as well. And this is just a huge tackle from Captain Cameron Smith. Those are the efforts in big games that matter, those big defensive efforts. But Catalan have had a lot of pressure, Dave, at the opening start of this game, but Leeds have defended resolutely. Under the pump, but now looking to get themselves the other end, Ash Handley. What a night catcher he's been in the opening uh, couple of weeks. What is it, three tries now, two of those Absolutely just about the length of the field. Move. The one here against Salford was mesmerically good, fantastic. Watching on, I thought a fire esque, and I'm sure if Martin's watching, he'd disagree with that. But I thought a fire esque that second one the other week. Kick taken safely enough by Yaha, and Fuhad Yaha brings it back, and Catalan for the first time having to go from deep inside their own half with possession. Yeah, and this is where maybe Tom Davis is a big miss. The TNT, Tom Davis and Tom Johnston, the amount of work and the quality of the work those two get through. It's obviously Fuhad Yaha in that position, but Catalan don't struggle getting out of the half, Dave. Sims on the halfway line when he's put down on tackle three, and Busquet will take it forward. So they're eating up the yards here just at the moment. Da Costa again, Farge waiting and willing in the middle again. It's um, the flat pass that Navarrete tries to make the most out of. Once ago, where's Abdul? This is going to be um, this is going to be a tester again. You'd think, oh, well, they've got to run it. They are well up, up to a point. Now it's put high, now comes the jump, Johnston almost gets there, ball goes to ground, Leeds have it back, and it's a knock-on by Tom Johnston, so Leeds will have possession, oh, here we go, here we go, we're on. James Bentley in the middle of that, Shock. surprise, surprise. Shock. James Bentley's in the middle of it, just with this, the scraggly headband on, the West Yorkshire warrior James Bentley, he's always in the mix, Dave. There's something going on. There's might, legal going he on. He might be innocent here, John. He's in the mix, I'm telling innocent you. Innocent until proven guilty. Oh, hang I on. Mean, hang on. It's Eric Sims on the floor. Cops an elbow off James Bentley. It's Arthur Romano. He's not having it, Arthur Romano. He's straight in. Not that Tarek Sims needs much support in that situation. Well, the video ref's getting involved here. Yeah, yeah. Well, James Bentley feels like Tarek Sims has hit yeah. him high. There's an argument that there is contact with James Bentley's head. It's, it's obviously accidental from Tarek Sims. The question is... Let's hear, let, let's hear what the ref says. I need James Bentley as well. Yeah. Right, the penalty is against Tariq Sims, contact with the floor, uh, contact with the head on the floor. We don't need that. Okay, I'm done with you, thank you. You then retaliate, I don't need that either, so I'm now done with you, all right? Lads, we're now maybe six minutes into the game, we've already had players running in. Yeah. We can't have that anymore, or players are going to be sat down, is that clear? Yeah. All good? Cheers. Well, the applause around the ground, I think, is for the fact that no card was brandished. Chris Kendall. Hurrah, hurrah! Just how to referee a situation one-on-one -on -one by Chris Kendall. It's an accidental contact on the floor. James Bentley reacts. Rugby league's an attritional, aggressive sport. And I think he's managed that situation incredibly well. Yeah, brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. Let's get on with it. Yeah, let's see Tarek Sims and James Bentley going at it this afternoon. Might, not, up for might it. not be their last point <laughs> of contact. So Leeds... Having survived that latest scare with a chance to bring it clear, Akers having a little There's look two around. Balls on the field, two boys. balls on the field. Just get rid of that one. Tackle one. Johnston okay, just tackle clearing one. On. that second oh. ball away. And Leeds two. having to do it tough from deep here. Get square! Hold. Go two. Hold on. 
It'll move back towards his left-hand side and Rhys Martin. A wrestle going on to make sure that Martin can spring and go. Here it comes with Sangare. Justin Sangare, the French international. Back to Akers. Croft steps back on the inside, tries to pick a little bit of a path for himself. Last play, Akers delivers to Frawley. Frawley's left boot sticks it high. Archer Morg is underneath. He had to wait an age for that to come down, but he's done well to evade the first defender, but not the second and third. It was a good kick from Frawley, amazing depth and a quality chase from Leeds. Arthur Morg skipping past one defender, but there's a number of Leeds defenders on the scene to make a tackle. Hold. Really interesting, actually. For me, Matt Frawley coming into Leeds, not a glamorous player, and it's a difficult job for him to almost stand out, but look for him doing just the basic things fantastically well. That's what he's in the team to do. That's, um, that halfback combination has been needing a fix for a while. They thought they had it fixed a couple of years ago, but it didn't quite work out, did it? Well, it seems to have balance. Croft is just really dangerous. He runs the ball, he takes defensive lines on, and then Frawley may be pulling the strings in the background. On appearances, it works. Let's bus get on the fifth. So again, Abdul employs that left foot, and it's inside the 40 when he lets it fly. So for that reason, Lucky Miller has to be careful, and he is. And Leeds do have it back. But look at the chase here from Catalan. Lewis Roberts is going nowhere. It's a gorgeous kick again from Jordan Abdul, just off the outside of his boot, spinning it towards the sideline, almost like a golf shot. Fantastic variety of kicks, and it just puts Leeds in a tricky spot. Now Leeds have to lose shape. A lot of their outside backs come in. That stops them being able to move the ball like we showed before the game. Ankers going right. Goodemore against his former teammates. Takes it forward. And here comes the skipper Cameron Smith. Akers having a look left. Frawley was left, but Akers is going to kick out a dummy half again behind a 40 meter mark. But they're not going to catch Catalan out because Johnson's back there. Morg had it covered as well. Johnston up towards the 30. That's um, well met, but he's still managed to One, nibble an extra yard or two out of that after contact. Yeah, I enjoy watching Catalan come out of the half. See Fred Yaha carry the ball, strong ball carriers, but they've got a variety as well. Tom Johnston's agility and footwork, Fred Yaha's strength, and then the big men. This is Sirenen coming out of the cannon. Well, again, three tackles and halfway reached. De Costa, Garcia puts it back on the inside again. That's um, oh, it's a good offload into the hands of Farge, but he's not going too far. Leeds defence is efficient. De Costa. Big men again pouring the ground here to get them going forward. Navarrete on that occasion. Where's Abdul? Where's Abdul? In fact, they're going the other way. Back to Farge. It's Farge who hoists it high. Hanley underneath it, times it well, and um, bounces up and gets his side an extra five metres or so. What a start to the year he's having. Oh, Ash Hanley outstanding. It's not, we show the tries that he scores, the length of the field tries, that capture the headlines. But it's his leadership, his consistency, and his quality in the moments that matter, Dave, which impressed me. That's why he's such a quality player for this Leeds Rhinos team and one of their leaders now in the dressing room. Oh, oh, dear. That's his second, Dave. Yeah. It's a big error again. He's making the errors at the wrong end of the field as well, isn't he? It's just a sloppy grip on the ball. It's, he never had a grip on that. And when it's as wet as it is and, the, and there's so much mud out there, it's just you can't grip the ball like that in this country in February and expect to keep hold of it. It's a poor error there from Lockie Miller. And that puts his Leeds defensive line under yet more pressure. Discipline where it's at, yeah? Good response. It's good. Stay where we're at. Before he sets the scrub. Let's go, ball in. Shot, Shot clock, clock stops with two seconds to go. And here come Catalan with six plays to have a go. And uh, taking it with Sims to 15 away. Here comes De Costa back inside for Farge. This time it will be Navarrete again using all his muscularity to edge his side just a little closer. De Costa to Farge. Farge now back on the inside field. Garcia, well, great here. Good contact. The ball springs free. And uh, Morgan Smith 
Cameron Smith, rather, with a really good hit. Yeah, it's been an amazing start from Cameron Smith. He's carried the ball, but what about that for contact? We talk about tackle height. Well, he dropped Ready his levels and drove straight through the ribs of Garcia. And in greasy conditions yeah. like this, it's such an effective way to win the ball back. Exceptional contact and a fantastic start in this game for Cam Smith. Some strong carries, some variation with his ball movement, but most importantly for him, solid contact in his defence. But I would say I'm okay, boys, let's get ready, pat down. not sure of in, wait for the, the, uh, the actual stats on this, but I would say 80% okay, of this game now has been played inside the Leeds half. They've, they've had to carry from deep, they've had to tattle deep. Yeah, they just can't keep making errors and allowing Catalan time in this area of the field. One, move, Ben! We're our Rick's hole. So here comes Akers. We'll have a little go. He's got a glossy hairstyle these days, hasn't he, Andy Akers? Oh, slick. Lovely oh, beard yeah. as well. <laughs> He's looking nice. Back on the inside for Bentley. Bentley trying to throw off the attentions of Sims, unable to do so. Words exchanged, I'm sure, on the flat on the floor there. Smith to Frawley. Reese Martin. Now it comes further left. Momorowski. Beside down by Ikuvalo. It's a nice defensive read from Ikuvalo. Handley. Croft. Oh, again, it's a mistake, and again inside their own half. James not join. Croft was claiming that there was maybe a hand there from Catalan, but it was a half-hearted appeal to cover up for that. And Catalan are going again here. Yeah, it was almost half high from Brody Croft. He's wandering, looking for somebody to punch for him, looking for somebody to hit a hole. There was nobody there. And it just gave the Catalan defenders an enormous amount of time to get hands on him. That's a reflection of the way the game has gone so far, that the south stand at the moment is, is fairly quiet, fairly subdued, because they are watching their side having to soak up quite a bit of pressure here. Yeah, it's good defensive practice, but you feel like pressure eventually will break this Leeds line. Abdul with a little grubber kick along the ground, and he's got it back, and it's another set of six. Croft tried to get there, but his intervention has just given Catalan possession. Once again, Garcia now will take it forward. They can set a platform Dude, here. Move, Cam! Get square! Plenty of time to go with ball in hand. Back to Farge. It's uh, with Morg. Just trying to feed it back on the inside. Ryan, get square! Archer Morg lining up in that position. Oh, there's a flat pass. Navarrete. Held! Ruiz, Da Costa. Bus gets to his left, but he's going to go behind him to Farge. Farge now, little dancing steps and almost getting over. Just held up short. It's the helmet that hits the line, not the ball. So he plays it again, Da Costa. Here's Abdul. Abdul with a kick, Johnson with a chase. Johnson catches in midair, flicks it away. Bentley knocks it back, Leeds have it back. And, you know, full marks to Leeds. But how much is this sucking out of Catalan's belief that they've had so much pressure on that Leeds line and haven't been able to reach it? Well, well done, Leeds Rhinos. Just a great collective defensive effort. Just to just paint the picture, 84 tackles for the Leeds Rhinos thus far, only 29 for Catalan Dragons. We've got Sangare, Smith and Akers all in double figures for tackles made. Now, they've done really well and they've controlled Catalan and not really looked at threat. But that can pinch you at the back end of half. So if the work rate's way too high. 17 minutes played and still scoreless, but if it was a boxing match, and how many times have you heard that analogy down the years, then uh, it will be Catalan on points at the moment. But that matters little. It's more with a catch. Looking for the return. Yaha. A bit of spring in his step, but not for long. Yeah, belt it. Yeah, Leeds uh, just just been burnt in the tackles department, Dave. The game's tight, isn't it? Aside from that, and I just feel like the team that can control possession as well and just get settled and control the ball will get some points. So Romano, 40 out. Da Costa. And now Garcia. Garcia sees a bit of a gap. He almost hesitated there. Just a little bit of footwork to try and maybe prise that gap open a little further. It's left with Abdul. Abdul again is going for a kick. They're putting a lot of pressure on uh, on the winger Roberts, and they get their reward in as much as they get the ball back here. All things being equal. Yeah, they're just building pressure, just tiring leads out. It's another accurate kick. You know, Jordan Abdul, he, when he grubbed in the set before and regathered, that was only the third tackle. But this is building pressure. 
but you feel psychologically, strangely, you feel like Catalan have got a score. They have to turn this pressure into some points. Jordan Abdul can kick all he wants to Lewis Roberts, but they need to get that ball over the whitewash. Oh, oh it's, a, it's a tricky one for Yaha, he did well in the end. There's a, a fear there that had he not got that, that the ball was heading towards the touchline, but there were a couple of his teammates behind him. But Catalan setting up camp once again. Have they got the wherewithal? Have they got the craft? to find a way through on this occasion. Seguir started the day as 18th man, but now off the bench as an interchange player. Garcia straightening in again. Gosh, he's good. Held! Ruiz, four. The cost up. Four. Was he looking for a return pass? Maybe he was, but Leeds making sure the ball is pinned to the chest. So last play, last play, Catalan, behind the back of Busquet. Abdul puts it back on the inside again. They're going to crash it through the middle or attempt that anyway. And no way through that Leeds defence. That simply refuses to be prized open at the moment. Yeah, it's just so solid from Leeds. Catalan maybe not asking so many questions and just being content. We've been camped down at this end, you know, almost One, setting up to kick two, the ball and to build some pressure. Meters. But the more leads defend, the more confidence they'll get. As long as they don't run out of energy, could backfire on Catalan. Just need some of that, that, that oil you can rub on the back of your neck when it starts to stiffen up, because we've been looking in one direction for the opening 20 minutes here. Third, up and square. We mean Ben all the way. Hackers, just waiting. Croft. Back to the middle again, but um, Catalan's defence again is working here. Leeds, with four tackles gone, find themselves still very much deep inside their own half. Reese Martin can't uh, change that situation by very much. So they're going to rely on a kick again here. Crofts in position, but it comes left to Frawley. Frawley's kick should be uh, a fairly straightforward return. More back to Johnston. Johnston looking to try and stretch them. Over on that left-hand side, but uh, Leeds James. doing their job well. How good the NRLs in Las Vegas, Dave. Can't wait for that. We're, we're in Leeds, not Las Vegas. I'll tell you what, Catalan have developed so quickly as a club. It feels like a long time, doesn't it? But in the last four or five years, they've really developed. And you know what it's built on? The defence. I believe they've just become such a solid defensive team. Very difficult to break down, and that's often the difference between the top sides and the bottom sides. It's just that appetite and willingness to defend. Managuash, who's um, put his money where his mouth is down the years, supporting this Catalan side. Gonna have to put a bit more money in, isn't he, next time? Because um, I think next year they have to pay for opponents to come and fly into Perpignan. So it's going to be more expensive to be the Catalan owner. Leeds again starting from deep, and I'm glad you reminded us we're in Leeds and not in Vegas because yeah, um, that just for a slipped, minute, that has slipped my mind there. <laughs> there, John. Two, move them in. Got Burley Paul, Ben Wick. Here's two. Croft. Bentley was the only man right, so it's fairly likely that he was going to come back to the middle. They're trying to force the pass through the hands of Momoroski, but oh, the South Stand thought that was a tough call, but the ref saying handling error went forward. And it will be Catalan back in possession again here. Oh, it was a harsh call, wasn't it? Frawley fired it, it was an awful pass. It was a floaty, low, awful pass to Momorowski. Thought the ball went backwards off his hands. The referee's giving it the other way. It's just another error. That was that four errors that Leeds have made in their own half. So we talk about possession and field position. Steve McNamara mentioned before the game the importance of possession, field position. Well, they haven't really had to work too hard for it. They've built a bit of pressure, but Leeds have gifted them some of that also. So it'll be certainly it's plan executed so far. Here's Garcia. It's a ground old day at the moment, isn't it? Catalan knocking on the door. Leeds resolutely keeping it shut just at the moment. But with every new challenge at this end of the field, size of the problem just gets a little larger for Leeds. Can they hold out? Da Costa. Farge back to Abdul. And um, here's Seguir. Jody Cunningham mentioned it before the game. They've consistently hit short balls, haven't they? Been really direct. Busquet. Farge. Oh, huge hit. He was, he was um, lined up. Lined up by Brodingcroft. And he did not miss. The pass wasn't 
wasn't really helpful there, was it, for Tia Farge? Oh, Tia Farge was so flat. He was excited because he knew that Leeds were stripped for numbers. Tony Croft had to make that tackle, Dave. They were so short outside him. He's come in, shut it down. What a shot from Brody Croft. Little fella on little fella, comparatively speaking, but still loads of impact. And that's woken up the south stand as well. Suddenly they find a reason to get themselves very enthusiastic. As Bentley takes it inside Catalan territory. Rare treat for Leeds to finish a set inside their opponent's half. Croft with a kick away. Morgan underneath it. Oh! Thought he was going to spill. I think he thought he was going to spill, but he's managed to keep a hold. Yeah, I can't emphasise the importance of that decision from Brody Croft to be aggressive, to bend his back, see people flying recklessly. Well, he knew that, that Leeds right edge was desperately short. He needed to make a big tackle. Such a solid defensive display so far from Leeds. Catalan marching on again here. Jordan Desaria on the field from the interchange bench. Da Costa takes it out, rides the challenge of Smith. Makes another five, ten metres or so. And suddenly Catalan are coming forward with Menes, Satai, another fresh from the bench. One play to go, and Catalan, having started deep, will finish deep at the other end, as Abdul again puts it high. Another test here for Roberts. He comes forward, does well, but Leeds are starting right there with all that hard work ahead of them. Yeah, and Leeds just need to focus on some ball control. They're down at 55% completion. Statistically, if you complete a 65% or less, you just don't win games. You just do not win a game. So they need to get that up to compete in this. They'll be delighted with how they're defending, Dave, for just doing so much of it. It's Roberts again. Slow up to his feet. Lockie Miller had a dummy half. He's got potential, hasn't he, to, be, uh, to dazzle us this year. Lockie Miller with his uh, rugby sevens background. But it's not really the time of year to do that on pitches like this. Just keep hold of the ball. Leeds looking wide on the six. Martin looking for the grubber. Oh, and he's, he's gone backwards. Another set. The referee says it was played out. Well, they, they, uh, they rolled the dice there, to use that Vegas analogy. They rolled the dice and it's come up just as they wanted it to because they've got another set and they're adventuring inside their opponent's half at the start of a set this time. Yeah, Reese Martin rubbering on his own 40 meter line to regather himself is risky. Lockie Miller, adventurous offload, risky. It's all risky stuff from Leeds, but it might just pay off. Croft, back on the inside. Search going on here for a way through. Catalan defense his turn to have to work to just um, thwart their opponent's ambitions here. Smith with a quick pass away. McDonald. First game of the year for James McDonald. Back in the 17 today. Frawley puts it back to Croft, who thread one through. Yaha was slow to turn. The footwork is good. And I think Hanley's got that down. Referee's asking the question. But Yaha just so slow to get round. And I think, yeah, trying the field. I think it actually might have his fourth of the year. But if he doesn't round the ball, I'm looking for a penalty try, but my live call is a try. It's tackle four, we've got a try. We're checking ground in, please. But first thing for the kick, ball's it on the foot. Yes, ball on foot. Chase to the left or on side. Just see what Reese Martin's involvement is. Play this through. Yeah, he's supposed to be outside ten, so we can go through to Hanley collecting the ball here. Something close in from the other side, please. From front on, yeah, this one will be great. Right, the contact's already made here by Yaha. Okay, just go back on this angle, please. Just a little bit further. Just establish that. Right, yeah, run it through now, please. Right, ball's kicked by Hanley. And he's then tackled. Let's see what Hanley does now. That ball gather, we might need something from behind the post to see if he regathers that ball. Yeah, back on this angle. He gathers that ball, and is the ball grounded? Yeah. Does he ground this ball afterwards? And that ball appears to get down. This angle is going to be our best if we just go back and run this one through. If he doesn't score, we have got Yaha tackling him. Let's just see if he scores. 
He's always got possession of that ball. The ball's never lost. And we'll pause the ball on the floor. And the ball is grounded. Thank you. I've made my decision. So here comes the decision here. Ash Handley. It's going to be his fourth of the year. Here we go. Try given. Ash Handley scored a couple of screamers. He's got scored a couple of close in as well. He doesn't mind how he scores them. Yeah. He only managed 11 tries last year. He's on four already. Yeah, four important tries. Look, it's the first real kick that Brody Cross put in. It's really smart because he uses the shape to bring forward Yaha up on the end of the line. I'm sure Sam Tompkins might have an opinion on where Artie Morgan is in this picture. It's Frawley to Croft. The kick's in perfect. And after the bombardment from Jordan Abdul's boot, it's Croft who crafts one there for Hanley. Well, Reese Martin would have preferred if it was a penalty try because he'd have had a kick underneath the sticks. Very often, it doesn't matter where the kick is from Reese Martin's point of view, but on this occasion, he puts it wide. We've had all those statistics, John. We've had time in possession. We've had where the game's been played. We've had tackle counts. We've had goal line droppers, but only one stat matters. Leeds full kettle at nil. Yeah, and it's the psychological blow of that try. It's a fantastic kick from Croft and a chase from Hanley. But Catalan have had all that pressure, had a load of time with so much proximity to the Leeds line and come up with nothing. Leeds go up the other end, one opportunity to score. I just want to mention that came off Brody Cross tackle. Brody Cross jams in, smokes Theo Farge, gets his team ball back with a great defensive read. Then goes down the other end, smacks a play, makes a great kick, try. That's just such good quality from Brody Cross. Uh, Eagle-eyed statistician uh, Ian Proctor points out, by the way, that that's Reese Martin's first miss of the season in terms of conversions of penalties. So takes the pressure off, doesn't it? The longer it goes on. But what a counter punch! What a counter punch from Leeds. Yeah, just exactly what you want. You've absorbed all of that pressure. It's taken all the energy out. And then how much? How energized do you get when you go up the other end of the field and score? Cross inside ball and slipping through goes Goodemon. Not going much further, but look where Leeds are again now, and they're on the last, and they've got numbers on that right hand side. Can they exploit this? Newman with a step. Newman leads his second try if he's got it down. Referee's having a close look here. Yeah, I don't know who that is, but it's uh, GPS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yours? His GPS has fallen over. <laughs> Time off. We're back to the video, ref. Jack gets tackled five. I have a try. Here's Jack Smith. Him, please. It's tackle five. We've got a try on field. We're checking ground in, please. Newman's in possession at this point. It's going towards the ground. It goes green there, you can't quite see that. Anything else? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do Chris. Just establish a new It's grainy on this angle as well. Can't see the ball that way. You go back so we can just piece them together where the ball is, please. Right there, I can see it between the legs. The ball's there. No, I've got no view of the ball. Got any other angles? Let's see if we can see the ball. Yeah, I don't see the ball on that one. I think our front angle might uh, might be our best angle. Yeah, this one. Right, with a live, with a live call, the try. There, are they the only angles that we've got? They're going to be our best angles. We have got contact with the head from Sims as well, so we are evaluating that, Just seeing if the ball has been grounded or not. This angle might show us. We lose the ball underneath him again on that. The player is descending to score. Uh, are they going to be our best available angles? Right. We lose the ball on sight, so we're going with a live call on the uh, grounding, Chris. Uh, but there is foul play in the act of scoring by Tarek Sims. The player is going down, but with a live call of try, it will be an eight-point try. Thank, thank, thank. I'm going to say thank you. I've made my decision. 
So we go back to the referee's gut instincts again, because nothing there clear enough for the video referee to make a definitive call. But the referee on the field suspected it was a try, so it is now a try. And as you probably heard there, the uh, the contact from Tarek Sims has turned this into an eight-point try. And that means the kick from the touch and then one underneath the sticks for Reese Martin. Yeah, I hope we say an eight point try, he might miss both kicks. It might, <laughs> it might still be a four point potentially, try. Potentially yeah, an eight, eight point, point try. try. Reese Martin's the man you want to be kicking these. So accurate with the boot. Well, Reese Martin is trying to. Here we go. Let's have a listen to this. There is some mitigation because the player is going to score. So that, so that brings it from red to yellow. So it's 10 minutes in the bin. 10 minutes in the sim bin for Tarek Sims. Yellow card. Yeah, as this replay goes on, the tag Sims has been sent to the sim bin. But it's a great break from Gudebond. It's Bentley with soft hands to Newman. How good's Harry Newman been at the start of the year? Such a dangerous ball carry. And Tarek Sims has been sent for that head contact. So they've reviewed it, they've looked at it, and decided that's 10 minutes. Just caught Newman high. Obviously, no intent of it, intent in it at all. He's just covering, he's desperate, he's scrambling like mad to get hold of Harry Newman. He's got, he's got 10 minutes to sit that out. Well, that'll take him to half time, won't it? Because uh, the clock tells us it was just yeah. about spot on the 30 minute mark when he was shown that yellow card. Give or take a second or two. So, Reese Martin has missed one so far today. Difficult from the touchline. Here comes his second attempt from the other touchline, which he has Jordan! missed. Jordan! But, but, all the Catalan players jogging their field ready for the kickoff, but in fact, they'll have to go back because <laughs> as a two goal kick try, it means that Reese Martin gets another go, and this time right underneath the sticks, and, and he'll, he'll kick this one. Yeah, he'll, he'll kick this he'll one. certainly will, yeah. What an interesting start to the game. Catalan, so much pressure. Just couldn't do anything with it, Dave, and then it's just a deadly blow from Leeds. Two deadly blows from Leeds. This is simple for Reese Martin. Oh, there we go, Reese Martin up and running. Leeds lead by 10 points to nil. I mean, it's incredible how quickly a match can turn, isn't it? The opening 26 minutes. What? It's Catalan's game. They're, they're camping inside the Leeds half. Yeah, and it's just ball movement. And once, once the ball gets down to those lead ed edges, you've got Ash Hanley on one side and Harry Newman on the other. It just gives your half-backs an out. Bentley just hands it on to Newman. And I, I'm a big believer that you've, your centres need to beat players. They need to be strong enough to actually beat a defender. We're not always about creating space and overlaps. Sometimes, as a centre, you've got to go beat somebody. And that's what Harry Newman does as well as anybody in our competition. It's a momentous shift in this game. Such a strong start for the Catalan Dragons, and Leeds have just turned the heat up. After with a restart, Catalan are wondering what on earth has just happened. What on earth has just happened? Well, what's happening here? Leeds are going with those big passes. Jenna, I think we've got some injury news, have we? Yeah, I do. John says that Leeds have turned the heat up as the rain pours down. It's uh, really, really wet out there. Of course, the ball a bit greasy. But, yeah, just an update on Bailey Surin. And he came off after 20 minutes. He's been getting treatment on his left calf. It's now strapped. They're going to further assess it uh, at the break. But he may not return. But I'll have an update for you soon. Well, again, it's a blow for, uh, for Catalan. The, uh, the absence of Mike McMeekin didn't show itself in that opening 25 minutes, but... Oh, there's a ball steal. Johnson has it back. Well, he's Bentley trying to tip it on. He was trying to just find some space, playing hot, like Rowan Smith likes. Just trying to find an opportunity on that edge. It was on. Tom Johnson just reads it, snatches it off him. Thanks, thanks for coming. Yes, that's tight. One! Costa, steadying himself, seven minutes of the half remaining. Chris. It's, not, it's not a bad bench for Catalan, is it? You bring Desiree on, he started the year so well. You've got Chris Sato, again, just such power off that bench. Segre as well, who's here now. He arrived from the bench, having started the day, as we said, as 18th man, but very much involved now. Garcia heading back with a little bit of intent you could see him shuttling towards where he thought there was a perceived opening 
It's with Abdul again. And Farge with a quick hands, and the hands were quick as well from Ikrivalu, but they didn't have control. And Leeds, well, how many times have we said it, 10 metres from their own line, survive? Yeah, it's good defence, it's connected defence. Momorowski goes in, Ash Handley follows him in. If you've got to be connected on the end of the line there, otherwise you get caught out. Sharp defence. Cavallo couldn't find the pass to unlock Leeds' defence. But the scoreboard pressure on Catalan now. They were conservative, happy to build pressure. Rolling kicks into the end goal, chasing, applying pressure to the Leeds line. And there's just that little bit more urgency to score them points now, Dave. 45th Super League meeting between uh, these two sides. Leeds more than edging it, 26-18 in terms of victories. But in recent times, Catalan beginning to balance that particular sheet. So they're full of confidence here today, but finding themselves behind the eight ball. Having dominated the opening 25 minutes or so. It's Leeds who dominate the scoreboard. And here's Croft going right. Newman, the try scorer, the most recent try scorer of the two. Look at that, look at that. Brilliant stuff over the top. And here comes the fullback Miller, but he's immediately swamped. He just needed to get rid of it, did Miller? Oh, yes, yes. He has he gone to ground? Yes, he's gone to ground. He has got rid of it somehow. Well, that was uh, an adventurous third tackle, wasn't it? From Leeds. Good fun. Again, they're looking for the expansive play, but this time it's Holroyd who drops the ball. Again, his first match of the season. Yeah, it's Arta Romano just disrupting the, the grip on the ball from Tom Holroyd. He comes up with the error. How good is the carry from Harry Newman coming back to the middle of the field? It's another error from Leeds. They're 10-0 up. 10-0 up. They weren't in the game for 20 minutes. Harry Newman's carry back to the middle of the field would, middle of the field would fill defenders with dread. Seeing him bouncing back at you like that the back end of a half. Well, the mizzle is still hanging heavy over Headingley, but you have to applaud Leeds' um, attempts to play from deep inside the run half, don't you? Yeah, they've, they've not bothered about the conditions. They've, they're not bothered about where they are on the field. There's obviously some method behind it, and, and, and it, it, it's worked for them here, hasn't it? The, but what's it, it built on, Dave? How well they've defended. Yeah. You can't do that and yeah. not defend. Yeah, so the defence has come up trumps from here in this first half. You've got to back yourselves. Penalty here. There'll be another set here. You can't imagine Catalan even thinking about going for goal. Time is off. It's a penalty. So there'll be another set that Leeds have to defend. It's Holroyd joining the tackle. It's maybe Cameron Smith, the judge knows Andy Ackers. Does he swing yeah. one there? I mean, it, it looks... It's Desiree carrying it. Look, he's a handful. He bumps Ackers out of out of the tackle and then he comes back in. There's not yeah. much in it. No. Doesn't catch him. Yeah. Video referee telling us it was open-handed. Yeah, there's nothing. So right, this will just remain as just a penalty. It's an open arm, open hand. It's not it's not fought all dangerous. It's not fought all dangerous. Not forceful either. In fact, they might even be thinking, should it have been a penalty? <laughs> oh, they are going for two. Yeah. Does this surprise you, with three and a half minutes to go? And, uh, they are going for a goal. Yeah, but their attack's been relatively blunt, maybe by design. Like I said, maybe I think they might have come into this with a conservative mindset. There's a penalty. It looks pretty bad from that angle, but when you see it from the other angle, the video referee's nailed it here for me. There's not much in it. It's minimal contact, if there is contact at all, but... Interesting, the Catalan going for two points. You know, what is the thinking behind this? Just to get something on that board mentally, I think, to go in at half time and and have nothing from that Stay half. Behind. If you were just looking statistically at this half of rugby, you would say Catalan are 10, 12 nil up. Well, you would statistically, but. Is it not a case for going again and using Abdul's yeah. boot to try and get another set? Because there's still, even now, right. two and a half minutes left. That's not the most committed of kicks, but it has gone over. <laughs> Scooped up. So yeah. Ten points to two. And, of course, they're running the clock down on Tarek Sims being absent. But in that position? Yeah, maybe a lack of ambition from Catalan. I'm sure Steve McNamara's got a bigger plan, hasn't he? He's, he's spoke about building into games, playing the long game. But at some stage, you've got to score points. And will two before half-time 
be enough to keep him happy. You know, I, I just think they'll be disappointed with on the line. how yeah, few opportunities the Rhinos have had and how they've Stay come away the with ten care. points. Stay behind. Okay, let's go. And we're using football statistics, two shots on goal and two goals for Leeds so far. And Catalan have had about seven or eight shots on goal. Not all of them on target, but nothing to show yeah. in, in the column that counts. And Leeds, Leeds doing a job here. It's again the problem with kicking a penalty. You have to defend it. You have to start your attack, I should say, right deep in your own half. But You're still in contact there because you've got all his shirt. If you let go of his shirt, you can step back and play the ball. It's a penalty. It's a penalty here for Kettler, which helps them a little. Yeah. As Tom Holroyd just keeps hold of Chris Satter's shirt. Chris Satter reacts. I just don't think he needs to react in such a way. It's an overreaction there. It's a relatively minor incident. Here's the Costa. Catalan building from deep here, having to build from deep. Can they find themselves Two. back Movement. where they've spent a lot of this oh, half yeah. oh. in strike position of that Leeds line? And can they find a way over, which they haven't been able to so far? Seguier, three step to go. Back. Step back, step back, James. Costa, spinning it back. Three. Abdul helping it on its way to Desiree, who's just four. putting himself Move into down. fourth gear, putting the head Ready? down and driving in. Go four. But the Leeds wall resists. It's yeah. back with Abdul. Now it's with Farge. Farge with a kick. Chases on, but should be easily covered. And is by Lockie Miller. But he's going to be pushed dangerously close to his own goal line. Yeah, it's Keeps it in the field of play. It's that kick, kick and chase tactic that Catalan are just going to. Looks like they're... Only way to score points at the minute is to just kick the ball and chase. Well, the application of pressure is not going to mean very much at this stage of the half. There's only 10 seconds to go, so... They are not going to get the ball back here, Catalan. Leeds will be quite content to run the clock down. The Hooter Sands, before it's played, a blast of the whistle from Chris Kendall to confirm the end of the half. And I should imagine a fairly happy Rowan Smith, and less so Steve McNamara, because... For all that Catalan have dominated field position, it is Leeds who lead by 10 points to nil at half-time. Dave John, thank you very much. Welcome rest for the players from the Leeds Rhinos and Catalan Dragons, and much to discuss with Jody Cunningham and Sam Tompkins after a short break. Should it have been a bin for Bentley? It was 10 minutes for Tarek, and we've had the Leeds Rhinos on the ropes for 25 minutes before hitting back in emphatic style. All the analysis on the way after this. Two-time world heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua takes on MMA powerhouse Francis Ngannou live on Sky Sports box office. Don't miss a minute of this packed night of boxing. Coverage is going to get underway from 4 p.m. on Friday, March 8th. But just to note, the main event is not expected to take place before 11 p.m. Fight is going to be available to Sky customers in the UK and Ireland. Virgin Media and EETV customers should contact their operator. If you want any more information, go to skysports.com forward slash box office. From Saudi Arabia to Sin City, Las Vegas, Nevada, the NRL starts its 2024 season with a spectacular doubleheader. Manly Sea Eagles against the South Sydney Rabbitohs tomorrow morning at 1 a.m. on Sky Sports Arena will be followed by a doubleheader, the Roosters and Broncos at 4.30 a.m. again on Arena. Those games will be repeated later tomorrow evening, 5.30 and 8.30 with us here on Sky Sports. We'll very shortly give you an indication as to the weather here at halftime at Headingley with a scoreboard update, 10-2, the Leeds Rhinos lead. It was an improbable halftime scoreline, especially about 25 minutes into that first half as the Catalan Dragons dominated without crossing 
the Leeds Rhinos line. Joining me in the beautiful wet weather here this March afternoon is Sam Tompkins and Jody Cunningham. Jody, summarise first, if you would, your thoughts of that first 40 minutes. Well, we spoke a lot about Leeds' expansive play and we thought they might change that in these conditions, but no, they have confidence and you have to admire the confidence they have to keep playing, keep pushing the passes and knowing that actually when they make errors, which they did, they had the confidence they would just defend that and they defended their line so well to Catalan's frustration. Picking up on that point, you do have to admire what Leeds Rhinos did. For 25 minutes, they were on the ropes, on their line. You make a mistake, you can see they didn't make a mistake. They repelled all that the Dragons threw at them. Yeah, they defended really well, you know, with, with that much time. In, in good ball, you'd expect Catalan to get over the line at some point. Um, they just, they, they weren't clinical enough. It's not great conditions for it. You look like a troller man, Sam. <laughs> oh, get me back to France. But they, they put a lot of pressure on them, and Lee just managed to turn them away. Abdul's kicking game, I thought, was, was pretty good. You know, he put it in the right areas of the field, but Leeds managed to deal with, with everything, and that, that actually took more out of Catalan than it did out of Leeds. Yeah, I thought Leeds line speed off the line, the scramble D was brilliant. We saw it from Brody Croft really pushing up, getting on the line. Brilliant shot to force an error from Theo Farge late on, which actually inspired the next phase of play. I think Catalan's frustration to starting to come out because they've had all the possession, the trying things, which is not quite coming off, and he's going to give Leeds all the confidence. The pictures paint that for us, but what the pictures don't show is what's going on inside the heads of those players, the Leeds Rhinos players and the Catalan Dragons players, but you two can give us insight into that. If you're defending side and you're absorbing all of that pressure, I'd suggest to you, Jody, you grow a leg. And Sam, you can pick up on the Catalan Dragons point, they may be getting frustrated. Jody? Yeah, absolutely. You know that when you're defending your line and actually you've got confidence that every time they throw something at you, you scramble, you get there, you build, you build confidence in the people around you, and you know that next time they come at you, you can do it again. And the frustrations? Yeah, frustration that they feel like they shouldn't be ahead on the scoreboard. Frustration they're coming up with some poor options. If you're going to come up with poor options in good ball, when when you do get a chance to defend, you've got to be good. You've got to be good. <laughs> my Sorry, my is, makeup is running into my eye. <laughs> <laughs> Something I never thought I'd say on TV. <laughs> oh, this is miserable. OK, let's look at the Leeds Rhinos, because they brought a smile to the faces of the South Standers here, because this is one of their first forays into the Catalan Dragons' half, and this is the result. This is them at their prolific best. Yeah, it is. They were patient. They knew that when they got the chance and they got into the half that they'd get an opportunity to go. You see Brody Croft come across and he just puts a brilliant little kick through, comes round onto that left-hand side and there's patience there from Hanley to not snatch at that ball too early and he manages to get that ball down to Catalan's frustrations. I think the backfield from, from Catalan was slightly off both Fuad Yaha and Archer Morg. Archer Morg was slightly too far into the line. Fuad Yaha's got to read it. It got better then for the Leeds Rhinos that we saw the best of. Brody Croft and a break in the middle of the field led to the second try. Uncharacteristic from Ben Garcia to miss a tackle like that. Um, just too many Catalan players out of position and, and it was in scramble mode and someone as good as Harry Newman near the line, you know, he's, there's a good chance he's going to get it down. And that was a costly concession because not only did they score through Harry Newman, it was an eight-point try as well. Tarek Sims' contact at the end of this, we'll get to that shortly after we admire Harry Newman's efforts at getting the ball down ultimately. Yeah, you have, you've got to be inspired by Harry Newman. He backs himself every opportunity he gets. He shows that strength. It's exactly what you see, you want to see from a centre, to step back inside to get, try and get around that ball. Tarek Sims, there's not a lot he can do there. Do you I'm have not a problem too, with that being a sim bin? I've not got a problem with it being a sim bin. You know, this contact with the head, it is forceful, but I have also got sympathy because when a ball carries going down to ground, you just got to throw your body in to try and stop that to stop that try. Are, are we saying to Terry, you just can't get involved? I, I've got a problem with it being a Simbin. You know, that's not halfway up the field and he's going to attack somebody's head. It's a last-ditch attempt, half a metre off the floor at full speed. When a, when a guy that high, you know, what, what else can Tarek do? Just, he, is he going to lie on the floor and hope he lands on top of him? There's no way, it's, it's an accident, there's no malice in that. Some may also have a question as to why Tarek Sims was sent from the field and James Bentley wasn't. Because if we're trying to protect players and eliminate contact from the head, it's hard to understand why James Bentley, and you made this great point to us, Jody, not just this season, but maybe last season, didn't, didn't leave the field. Yeah, for me, that's a red card last year. You know, there's intent, it's force, it's an elbow to the head, it's, it's controlled and it's Well, this forceful. is the initial contact from Sims. It's this one you're talking about now. So yeah, it's that follow through with the elbow, it's unnecessary. You know, Bentley, I 
and his discipline has been an issue for many years. And for me, that's direct contact to the head. It's like we saw with the knee accidental to the head or intentional to the head previously. It was a red card for me. That one's a red. Interestingly, there was a ripple of applause when he wasn't sent from the field here at Headingley. So maybe an indication of what the supporters are happy to tolerate on the field. OK, uh, it's a question I put to Robert Hicks. Are they changing? Of course, he's Director of Operations and Legal at the RFL. Are the referees being instructed to referee in a different way following the New Brown incident in round two? You can hear that conversation and maybe a suggested solution for the disciplinary future of the game of the R uh, Rugby League, I should say. That's available on demand right now. OK, as you can probably guess, whoever is left out in the stands will be very wet here at Headingley. But if you're a Leeds Rhinos fan, you'll be pretty happy with what you've seen in the first half. The second 40 from Headingley, round three of the Bedford Super League on the way after this. Stay with us here on Sky Sports Action. They are preparing for the round three fixture from the Bedford Super League between the Red Devils and the Robins. That comes after our offering here at Headingley, 25 past five. Willie Peters' unbeaten visitors taking on Paul Rowley's doggedly determined home side. Well, we've had dogged determination from the Leeds Rhinos as they defended their line remarkably well for the first 25 minutes of the game, repelling everything that the Dragons threw at them. And as Leeds Rhinos have gone in at halftime in front, 10 points to two, and late Arthur Moore penalty is all the Dragons have had to show for all their possession and territory. Let's get down to the tunnel to Jenna, who has got halftime team news from both dressing rooms. Jenna. Yeah, thanks very much, Brian. I spoke to both head coaches. Steve McNamara has asked his players to stay in the grind, keep turning up for each other, and don't worry about the score. Uh, as far as Rowan Smith goes, he's really, really pleased with their defence. He's asked for his players not to make risky offloads and also just to be there for one another and keep doing what they did in that first half. If they can do that, they'll go on and win this one. Jenna, thank you very much. Sam Tompkins, Jody Cuddy, and before the teams emerge here, just a word on Leeds Rhinos. They're 40 minutes away, I'll put it to you, from maybe a, 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 a win that could ignite their season. Very early on, I appreciate that, but they were up against it here today before kickoff. They're halfway to something special. Yeah, I think it was a desperation in defence. I think that's, if they're going to go on and win this game, there's a big 40 minutes left for them, but if they can show that desperation and, and that, that desire to protect the goal line, you know, I think they're going to be tough to score against. We would expect the Dragons to respond. Yeah, we would, but every question they've asked, the Leeds Rhinos defence has answered, so they might be left wondering right now, so it'll be interesting second half to see if they can turn it around. And you'll enjoy that second half with our commentary team. We'll throw back to John Wilkin and to Dave Woods. Thanks, Brian. A little sigh of disappointment that the risky offloads are off the agenda, John. We look forward to all of those in this second half. I enjoyed looking at Sam Tompkins drowning in the rain down there. Yeah, there was, there was a chuckle or two up here in the nice dry gantry, wasn't there? <laughs> there was. That is, you're normally down there. An element of smugness about my position today. <laughs> I think you'd, uh, you'd see the weather forecast. Anyway, we're off, we're running. Catalan with some making up to do, trailing by 10 points to two. But they are back to a full 13. Tarek Sims back on the field, having spent the latter end of that uh, first half in the Simbin. And what do they what do they do different? Do they do they take a few more risks than their opponents half or I think what the Catalan need to do here. I think the answer might be on the bench and he's got a number six on his back and that's Jaden Nicarima. I think if they want to unlock this game, they've got to make some tackle breaks and they've got to make some line breaks. At the minute they are playing quite conservatively, but I think his running game could really open up the game for them. At what point do you throw them on? Because you think that a, a, a lot of fuel has been pulled out of this Leeds tank because yeah. of all the defending they had to do. At what point is he effective, do you think? I give him 10, 15 minutes, let the game bite again and then throw him in. Abdul's kick, they just allow Johnston to catch that because every Leeds player in that circle knew that they had that situation controlled. So they have it back here to Leeds. Yeah, I think listening to Jenna's comments from Steve McNamara, he's keen for them just to stick with what's going on. So again, he, he spoke about patience and, and just building pressure. He doesn't, I don't think he'll be too upset with that first half performance. The majority of it went to plan, but as Sam Tompkins mentioned, you've got to back that game plan up with defending your line which they couldn't do. Oh, 
Yeah, it was a three minutes, wasn't it, that, that, that this game has just hinged on. The, the Handley tried and Newman try scored back to back, and Sims sin bidding on the back of that second try. It's three minutes of, of madness, really. Having uh, seen Catalan dominate up to that point. So Catalan know they can switch it around. Leeds know that they've got to keep the foot to the floor. And they're running out of tackles here inside their own half. That is the fifth. So a, a play the ball by McDonnell, and here it comes. Oh, they're running it here, are they? Yes, they are. Croft bounces away. It's back inside for Newman. And eventually it's boot to ball. Yaha's across the catch. Question for Owen Smith, define risky. <laughs> the might, his players might need a definition. What great defence though from Leeds off the back of an impromptu kick from Harry Newman. He follows it up with an aggressive chase. Here's Johnston. Looking to batter his way through, but uh, no give there. These defenders working hard together. Farge and Dunny Hart. Little skip and a step forward again. For me. Leads All back for the me. ten. Da Costa in at dummy half. Leads moving up quickly here. Garcia goes arcing round that right hand side. Oh. Move. Hold. Two to go. And still deep inside their own half. So He's moving. He's not again, it's going to be a boot from Abdul. You would think at the end of this. Help. And uh, given those conditions, Abdul's on, boot Chris. could still have a very telling influence on this match here. today. It's got a good spin on it. That's a good claim from Lockie Miller. It's a wall of Catalan defenders up there, and Farge is the man who just punches out and makes the tackle. Yeah, good solid set from Catalan, just putting Leeds into a tough area. Just demanding that Ash Handley, the Leeds outside backs, carry this ball with some strength and some footwork. We're in an arm wrestle in the early stages of this second half. You have the ball, see what you can do. We have the ball, see what we can do. Neither side making too much of an impact on their opponents thus far. Four. Here's Miller. Ruben Jordan. Ackers. England international, of course, in that World Cup, which now seems an age away. 40. 40. They're saying 40 metres, but uh, it was a 40-20 attempt, but that was Johnston. always going to be covered by Johnston and Catalan. Yeah, well, well they are in a decent position One. here to start Move. their set. James, yeah, and I think for the Catalan to break leads down. I think ball movement obviously is essential, but they're going to have to break some tackles. They're going to have to carry the ball with some power and some strength. And I just think that maybe Theo Farge and Jordan Abdul can just switch their mindset, just be a bit more ambitious with the ball. Kavali making himself a bit of a handful. Uh, edging closer here with uh, still a few tackles to go. Desiree just uh, bulldozes his way. So this could be an interesting end to the set here. Abdul again. It's um, just James settled James in Cox. by Tarek Sims. So 10 away. Abdul's come left. De Costa goes right. It's right down the middle. And they've opened them up with Satai. Well, I think Leeds were anticipating a ball to Abdul and a kick. What they didn't anticipate was Satai just going right through the middle of them. Yeah, I said about having to break tackles and for them to score points, they're going to have to make line breaks and break tackles while Chris Satu just showing us how to do that. He's a big man and he's got great speed off the mark and he just finds a soft part of the line. Just drops inside James McDonald's right-hand shoulder and it's between Bentley and McDonald. There's not enough urgency there between them both. It's a smart play from De Costa. Jordan Abdul's set up on the left and everything he's saying the ball's going to Jordan Abdul. Well, Steve McNamara and the Catalan Dragons knew it wasn't going there. It was going to this man. How important the timing of that score just five minutes into this second half. And his first try as a Catalan player for Setai. And that turns the game on its head again here. It does, yeah. And that, the first time that Leeds have been vulnerable on their own line and it's with the limit the least amount of movement of the ball that Catalan have done it's literally a show left step back right and a big man punching onto the ball that's caused least the most problems out of anything here here comes Moore just uh, showing the ball with his arm or he wants it to fly and then with the boot he sends it in the right direction 
And it's, um, it's narrowed the gap again, 10 points to eight. The difference, just a goal. Satire, try scorer. Yeah, it's just that look from the cost there. You can't really see on the angle, but it's that look that just distracts the markers and gets Jim Bentley out of the play where he can't get involved. He's too big and too strong to stop from five yards there. There weren't a lot of Catalan supporters here, but um, they'll be a little sodden at the moment at the, uh, the Western Terrace. Oh, that's just a bit. But enjoying that moment and enjoying the fact that their team are right back in this now. Two, move, Cam! Oh, ball carry. Da Costa. Looking left again. Carted forward by Desiree. Desiree wants to get up and play it quickly here. And out it comes from Morg, and Morg's going to have a look. Morg with a dummy, almost cutting through. Da Costa again. And now they've got a bit of momentum here, Catalan. Now they're coming forward. And Satai again, causing mayhem. Da Costa takes over. It's with Abdul. Abdul right up to the line. The pass away. Did it hit a Leeds man? It's a turnover. It's a turnover. But that was thrilling stuff from Catalan again. Yeah, and just see the, the impact of Chris Satter. It's a turnover, he's got into touch. Yeah, just this carry. He just picks Cam Smith out, goes, have that. Andy Ackers, get out the way. Harry Newman to, to, takes three or four men to stop him, and it's just exhausting having to deal with him. Well, James McDonald back today for his first game, but uh, Jenna, you have news. Yeah, I do, Dave. He has just gone straight down the tunnel for a head injury assessment. I can tell you, though, that every player out there uh, either has the uh, instrumented mouth guard or through a medical dispensation, uh, they will, if they pass a head injury assessment, be able to return for today's game. Thanks, Jenna. Look where Catalan are. Really piling on the pressure again here. Smashed in by Desiree, held up five away. Da Costa stands and waits. Another set of six here. Another way. Abdul puts it back to Morg. Morg now tries to force his way through, sliding through. But the ball's gone to ground. Leeds defense with another big win. And they've had a few of those today. Yeah, Catalan have consistently hit those lead runners. Well, it gets all the way out the back to Archer Morg. It just fumbles it in contact. Steve McNamara frustrated. I do think with these conditions, maybe Steve McNamara's initial plan of being direct, of hitting lead runners, of using his big men, might be the most effective strategy for Catalan. Disappointing error there. But the momentum in this game has shifted, Dave. We can, we can sense it now that South Stand has quietened down. Catalan in the right end of the field. Leeds get the opportunity to get out of there. But they've been here very often. And they've not had a lot of rewards. Leeds have shown courage without the ball. And an incisive strike rate with ball in hand. You're going to have to show a lot more courage here, Dave, you feel. Ackers sweeping it up. Leeds advancing through Handley, but not by far. Ackers again. Big effort. This time by Sangare, and there's a bobble, and there's a mistake, and that's a common theme in this game as well as Catalans get it back. Can we just talk about Desiree? Because this young Catalan forward, for me, has been exceptional at the start of the year. He flies into that contact. He chops Sangare, Justin Sangare, who's a big man, and it's that contact there. It's more than that, it's the intensity of this man getting off his line. High work rate from him. Obviously carries the ball, ball very powerfully, but a huge defensive effort there. So here we go again, Catalan in prime position, but what can they make of it? Can they find a way through here? Five tackles to go. It's Da Costa at dummy half. It's carried in by Satai. Satai with a big push. And they're getting closer and closer. Da Costa spinning it out to Abdul. Abdul steps back on the inside. Here's Desiree. Does well to get away and get the ball away. And Garcia carries it on a step or two. Leads defence in panic mode here, but doing well. Holding on. Da Costa back to Abdul. Abdul with a short pass. Leeds defence was ready. More than ready. As Sims is stopped and pushed back. 
but the Costa goes again. Garcia looks to try and thread his body between those defenders. They aren't going to give. Not easily. Last play. De Costa out. Abdul slides it in. Frawley got a touch. Abdul drops on it. It's accidental offside. It's come off Reese Martin into Andy Ackers. It's an accidental offside. Accidental offside, so that's head and feed at the scrum or a handle. It's a, it's a six right tackle, isn't it? So it's a handle, yeah. a, a, a scrum rather. Where do you yeah. the scrum, boys? More possession. It's a scrum. Jordan Abdul just looks to thread it. It comes off Frawley. Where do you want it? That's right. Okay. And then Reese Martin oh, touches Andy Ackers, so he's accidentally offside. So Catalan get another stab here. It's a turnover, boys. It's not far. It's a turnover. Well, Play the ball. The referee Marcus. has changed his mind. He gave a scrum. Just a turnover. And now he's given it as a turnover. Reese! Reese! Same outcome in many here. respects. Catalan have it back. Yeah. And here they come with Desiree with the initial carry. One. And Just another set for Leeds to try to Just defend here. Wait, wait, go it's De Costa. He's going to go himself here, the hookup. Same again, wasn't it? Look left, went back right. Sate was there again. Sate was there again. It's a high shot from Sangare. Just desperate. Desperate. Yeah, moderate. Not, not much in that. It's just a penalty. <laughs> Booze, I think, from the Leeds crowd are because they can sense the referee's getting some information from the video referee. And it's a high shot, that's all. Video referee's having a good scan of this. Here we go. See what the referee has to say to Justin Sangare. I'll talk it to him first. We can talk after. Okay, mate. It's contact with the head. The only mitigating factor is that it's low level force. He's 10 minutes in the bin. No worries. Yeah, mate. What? The scores are relevant, mate. The score is irrelevant. So Justin Sangare is away for 10 minutes and this could hurt Leeds because Catalan in great position here and Leeds are down a big man to try and resist what's coming their way. Yeah, but they're going for Cole. Yeah, I agree. Well, they've been conservative with the decision making all night. There's no surprise for me there to go for goal. I will say this in mitigation. The Costa drops his height to sort of bury over the line. Justin Sangari is six foot five. They just hit him high. Martin Morg has a fancy kicking style. He locks it high. And we're back to where we started from. Parity, ten points apiece. Yeah, big moments. Sangari has got ten minutes on the bench. Obviously, Tarek Sims has been on there for Catalan with his high shot on Harry Newman as he crossed the line earlier. But the game swung. Importantly, though, for Leeds, they've not conceded a try there. Catalan have just took the two. Managing this next ten minutes is going to be crucial for Leeds. That is, that is a great oh, kick off oh. from Lucky Miller. Heading right towards the touchline, flight was perfect. Could not have been more difficult for Matt Nicobano. And Leeds have been asked where they would like the scrum to be placed. What a fantastic kickoff is. Nicobano's in all sorts running towards that. He was watching it swirl and sway in the wind that's blowing across this field. Didn't get anywhere near it. Come forward, please, Catalan. Come forward. So, punch. And now a potential counter punch here from Leeds. Out! Frawley to Croft. Croft with a step. Almost. Almost. In to dummy half. I think for the first time today, Jared O'Connor's on the field. Get told. Dominate! Catalan with a bit of strength in defence. O'Connor again. Smith with a short one. Holroyd can't get through. Bird. Move, Chris! Hold here. Hold here. Here comes O'Connor. They're attacking with Momorowski. This is Smith. Smith put down. O'Connor stands and waits again. 
He's got Miller on the inside. Lockie Miller switches it back. Here comes Crop now. Crop up to the line. The kick through. The chase. But Johnson has it. Johnson can't get away from Beckley. Beckley's hanging on. Johnson's fighting. But Catalan start from there. And they're a man down in that dummy half position as well because, well, they have a penalty here. But Catalan down because Ulrich's the Costa has gone up for a head injury assessment as well. Brings Nick Arima into the field as a penalty against here. It's James Bentley or Harry Newman for just putting hands in on the rook. Harry Newman's deemed to just go and flop onto that. Referees have been quite strong on that this year. Leeds fans are happy. Referee, I'm not sure who that was directed at, whether it was Bentley or Newman, but it was... Oh, touch touch is right on there, touching. <laughs> Get in there. Having a look, making sure <laughs> that ball was kept safe. But that man Nick Kareem is on. This is getting fiery now. Yeah. Leeds defence looking to Ratland. Catalans go forward. Garcia hunting back. Bentley's there again. With the tackle. Nick Arima now picks up and scoots it. Morgue. Arthur Morgue into the arms of Croft. Going no further. And one play to go. One play to go. Nick Arima picks up slowly. Oh, in fact, two plays to go. My miscount. So this is more six again, six plays to go. Here comes Farge, drops it sneakily, back on the inside again for Desiree. Nick Arima, as Leeds retreat back 10 metres. Nick Arima feeding on the big fella, Satai, Satai! Bulldozing through again, just held up short. Leeds only just hanging on now, Farge with a quick pass. the ball slip and that's a huge opportunity that passes Catalan by yeah they've just got to ice one of these chances as far as to Morgue it's a great defensive read from Ash Hanley Momorowski's coming in Hanley's just got to come up with something he just gets in Morgue's eye line maybe Farge's pass wasn't quite on the money but just superb scramble defense from the Leeds Rhinos the performance here defensively at times has been exquisite they've shut Catalan down Reduce the number of opportunities they've had to have genuinely try, try scoring opportunities. Chris Satai's looked dangerous, Dave, hasn't he, since he's been on. He's breaking tackles left, right and centre. Let's go, Hidden. That could Come be a big goal. moment for Leeds. Head in, Jim. Head in. Let's go. Ball in. Crawling with a feed. Leeds with more hard work to do. Catalan looking to pin them here. Starting well. In that respect. Hey! One. Slowing it all down, slowing it all down. South Stand getting involved. They're not enjoying what they're seeing at the moment. Well, scrambles up to his feet. Now it's with Croft. Croft tries to step inside, but Nick has got him. And he's got him good. Desiree coming in on the second attempt. Back there. Back up. There's some blood flowing now, John. Yeah, it's Brody Croft, just so dangerous. He's got dynamite on his right foot. Desiree is coming from the inside. Just again, uh, just to back up Sam Tompkins, there's sometimes not a lot of place for those. Yeah. It's, when a player's falling to the ground to go, yeah. it's definitely high. Desiree's had a fantastic game, but the Leeds fans are feeling aggrieved at the minute. They feel yeah. like the officials haven't got it right on a number of occasions. Jordan. This is a big call now. Jordan. Is Jordan going to be following Justin into the sin bin? Okay, similar as the other one, the only mitigation is it's low level force. It's 10 minutes in the bin. He is. Yeah, I agree. Desiree and Sangare populating that sin bin on either side of the dugouts. Catalan down to 12. Got to 10 10 the scoreline, 12 men apiece on the field. Everything to play for with 21 minutes left to play. Yeah, and that's just the pressure Brodie Croft puts on your defensive line as a running threat. Desiree has had an exceptional game as well. A stunning game from, from him. Disappointing to be put in the bin there, but that's what Brodie Croft can do. Just stretch your defensive line out. Milk to penalty that's then turned into a sim bin with 21 minutes to go. Where's it going, John? Where is this game going? Well, I'll tell you where. 
Lewis Roberts is going nowhere. <laughs> but where's this game going? Yeah, well, Offside against Catalan, not square at the marker. It's big. Just got a situation that's unfolding, really, with the head contacts. And I think everybody is on board with it, but we don't want to see them. We've just got to get the application right. I don't think we're quite there yet. Harry Newman's getting fired up. He really is. The Leeds are getting fired up, and so are the South Stand. Yeah. And um, well, it's it was going to be Bentley who carried it in, but it was over his head to Croft. Croft now with a dash and a dart. Leeds in great position. 30 out, five tackles to go. Frawley opposite back inside to Smith. Now it's Ruan. Up gets O'Connor. Smith back to Frawley. Inside for Bentley. Well met by the Catalan defence. Eric Sims' contact is exceptional. To Frawley. Frawley now looking left and with good optimism, but the kick is going to evade off the boot of Movaroski, going to evade the chasers, and it will be Catalan who get it back. And uh, Ulrich de Costa, we are being told, has passed his HIA. It is McDonald. McDonnell has passed his HIA, so that's good news for Leeds. Yeah. Just think a poor kick from Momorowski there. You know, it's third tackle. I just think they need to get points now, don't they? The Leeds, they could need to ice another opportunity. They need to get back on that scoreboard and just arrest the momentum, which has been heavily in Catalan favour. See, Desiree going off might help that. They're going to have to make or create or take a chance here at the Leeds Rhinos to win this game. 10 metres, wait, go three. There's Nicarima, and a dummy half. Garcia with another carry. Three Leeds defenders there. He can, he's trying to get the arms free, but can't do so. Smith did a good job of pinning him down, but he can't get a hold of Nicarima, can't Smith? And Catalan, oh, that's knocked on. It's Catalan will get it back here. It'll be another set. Oh, in fact, the referee says still four, says there wasn't a lead hand on that. Johnston. It was definitely touched. that Leeds had got hands on that. It was definitely touched by Harry Newman. Abdul puts it high. Needs must on the sixth. Miller with a catch. Handley wrapped up. Simply no space in which to work there. Ash Handley. Yeah, you can see Harry Newman, it's Busquet. Offloads the ball. Jordan Abdul with the quick hands. Harry Newman touches it. Harry Newman touches it. And a bit of fortune for Leeds. They'll feel like they deserve that. The amount of effort that they've put into this game. Maybe they've earned a bit of luck. Could be something special that wins this way. This one, one way or another. Here's Martin. Oh, lovely little flick from him back to Miller. But Catalan readjusts quickly. O'Connor spinning it right back. Frawley. Well, he was inside the 40 when he let that fly, but it has just gone a foot too far. Oh, credit to the kick pressure from Catalan Dragons. They put Matt Foley under all sorts of pressure. He had to change his kick, he had, he had to adjust, change his launch angle, go higher than he wanted to. And that disruption has resulted in a big play. He's kicked it straight out. Catalan get the ball. Touches on again, other side this time. We'd lost the ball for a moment. It wasn't that bad a kick, Dev. <laughs> Only just missed the pitch. <laughs> it was in the headingly vicinity. OK, here we are. OK, yeah. Just as Sangare is uh, back on the field, you will notice very shortly. So Whoa. they are back to 13. Kaplan have got another six or seven oh. minutes with only 12. Here's Busquet. Help! Ruiz to Leon! Old go to Leon. Nicarima, oh, a little skid out to that left-hand side and a Third. real Did dart from him as well. James. He's so fleet of foot. Rick. Abdul throwing it back to Farge. Farge out to Moore. But no way through as Ikebalo is put down by the squeeze of those Leeds defenders. 
So Yaha hurls it back towards the middle. Farge has the leap. Busquet now. Farge. This time it's Sims. Sims strains it up. Looking back for the middle. Spinning away. One play to go in this set. Nikarima again. Abdul. Looking for some magic off that left boot. Threads it in nicely. Newman's got it. And he's just about got it in the field of play. Well done, Harry Newman. What a big play from Harry Newman. That's a massive play. It's a, a gorgeous kick from Abdul. And this extra effort from Harry Newman to get the ball out could be massive for the Leeds Rhinos. Look at this. Look at this. Big effort in wet conditions to get that ball out. Here's Handley, Reese Martin, throwing it wide, Momorowski's out there, lone figure on that left-hand side. Ketlan across, cutting down his options very quickly. Handley, one today, four for the competition. Maybe fancied another long-range score, but Ketlan quickly thwarting those ambitions. It's with Smith, and now it's with Croft. And here's Newman, and Newman away to his, uh, his winger, the ball bounces back, Newman into the hands of Ruin, and now an opportunity, Leon Ruin gets it away to Frawley, Catalan recovering superbly well, but leads are flowing here, Smith picks it up quickly, there might be a shortage of numbers, there is a shortage of numbers, and guess who pounces, when the opportunity arises, he's prolific this year, Arch Hanley with another, and leads Stop the risky offloads, Rowan Smith says. Reduce the amount of risky passes, Rowan Smith says. Well, Ash Handley and Leeds Rhinos didn't listen. He's had risk written all over it. The boot moved the ball early. It's Crofts and Newman. I love this from Lewis Roberts. The hack ahead. You take your chance, you get your luck. Newman picks it up. And it was ruined through the middle of the field with a great offload to Matt Frawley. And at this stage, Leeds are running hot. They've remembered what their identity is. What about that from Cam Smith? Perfectly judged. Beautiful flight on it. And this is Leeds Rhinos when they're at the very best. Don't, don't, what, don't forget about the conditions, Dave. Two or three offloads, a risky kick, and a beautiful okay. long pass to find the prolific Ash Hanley. Five for the season now for Ash Hanley. Him and Liam Marshall leading the way in try scoring in the opening rounds. Liam Marshall got a hat trick last night. Here comes Martin. Kick from the touchline. Swings it in. Wow, well, there we go. Reese Martin's goal. 16 points to 10. Yeah. Excellent for Ash Hadley. It's a finish. Cam Smith. Great vision. Took a risk. Threw the long pass. Came up with a good look. Ash Hanley's delighted. Leeds Rhinos are delighted. And we're all certain Rowan Smith is delighted too. Ab Catalan got a counter punch. They need something now, Dave. You know, they're in a tricky spot here. Abdul's kick. Rowan very much at the heart of that last break. We'll bring it back. And Headingley is entranced with what they're watching at the moment in this Betfred Super League round three game. It's been one of the better games of the competition so far this year. Brilliant stuff. But they are two top quality performers, these two teams, and they're giving us what we expected. Here's Martin. Looking for height and depth more with a catch. Johnson looks to bring it back, but look at that discipline from Leeds. 
Gretsch. In a line. Yeah, and they've been disciplined defensively in the main all this, this afternoon and defended the line fantastically well. And they're just going to need for the next 12 minutes to commit to finishing this disciplined defensive performance. And what a result this would be for the Leeds Rhinos if they can hold out. Catalan 100% so far this season, two wins out of two. But uh, Leeds would match them in terms of victories in the year so far, if they could hold on and win this. Because they're back on the field. Catalan advancing. But it's taken them five tackles to get here. It's back with Abdul. Again, it's high. Lucky Miller has a, 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 the, the time to have a look downfield because he knew it was so high before he refocused on the ball coming down into his arms. There's a rear back. And Catalan will return to 13 as well, so it's a proper rugby league Two. match now. 13 Rom. aside with 11 minutes left to play. We're on now. There's Roberts. Jordan, you know, square. Pick up. There's a rear wasn't square, which allowed the fullback Miller to have a little more of a run at him than he might have done. Martin is tangled up by those cluster of defenders that come at him quickly. Here's O'Connor. Has to be patient. Played the ball slow. It's with Croft. Croft with a dummy. Oh, and I think there was a tackle on Desiree before he got the ball. Yes, there was. Yaha committed early. And Leeds get a penalty. Yeah, it's Yaha who just made the decision to just give Sangare's shirt a tug. It was Croft. It was just threatened and looked class and had quality about him for Leeds Rhinos. It's Yaha. Makes the call, it's a professional foul, tugs him back, knows that if he doesn't, Sangara is in the clear. Sap and go. Second strike here for Leeds will possibly put the game out of sight. Though there are still plenty of minutes to play. Nine and a bit. But Leeds setting up camp. Is it too early to think about a drop goal here? Make it a two-score game. O'Connor, six again. They won't be thinking about a drop goal for a while yet because they can have a go at the full six. Smith in. O'Connor waits. Frawley's to his left. This is taken in by Sangare with some power. Catalan gritting teeth and making tackles. Now it comes to Martin, but chopped down in defence. Good defensive work from Catalan, but it's another set of six. Holding down by Nikarima. Leads come again in the shape of Goudemont. O'Connor, options left and right, Frawley, back to Smith, Smith now, hand from Kaplan, I think, ball's gone backwards, still going backwards, still going backwards, <laughs> and eventually, oh well, no it's not, somewhere in there it went forwards. Wow, pick the bones out of that, ball's on the floor for more than it was in people's hands for stages there, Chris Kendall said that. It's definitely knocked down initially. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What was that, There's a question whether Frawley's not well, he, knocked it. Callan, so that must be that one from Lachlan oh, sorry, Miller yeah. that's been sorry, pulled. I misheard what he said. He's saying Catalan knocked the ball down. No, it's Catalan yeah. who's knocked yeah. this down. Yeah. He's got it wrong. Seguier so knocks the ball down. So you see Leeds get possession here for sure. Bad, Miscommunication right, turns into good communication. The referee misheard his call from the touch judge. Yeah. <laughs> but he's righted it. We got there. We got there eventually. Me in the rook. Come on, two on the bounce. Head down, heads in, heads in. Archer, ball in. Leeds Out. have a chance to strike. This is Newman. No obstruction there. Looking for a bit of disengagement from that Catalan defence. And Harry Newman is making it all with magic. But Catalan, of course, to make the title. Six again. Six again. Hanley goes for a hat trick. No way. Not on this occasion. O'Connor. Back to Frawley. Straightened up by Goudemont. Five outs and leads. Pumped with confidence at the moment. O'Connor. But that rushing Catalan defence shuts down the options for Rhys Martin. It's back with Frawley. It's Smith. And now it's on by Sangare. But not a lot made up in that little interchange of passes. 
penalty, penalty. And it's going to be a sin bidding as well. Roman Neverett giving his marching orders for the next 10. That's him gone for the game. Yeah, it was a procession of six again and some penalties for interference in the run for the Catalan Dragons who were just gripping on to the closing stages of this game with their fingertips could get away from them but this was the last of several penalties for interference it's just a slight tug by Roman Neverett well Cameron, Cameron Smith was um, urging them to carry on I think here but um, instead they're kicking for goal of course they're kicking for goal it's absolutely no doubt they're kicking for goal crazy call not to do that eight points up six minutes to go so Rhys Martin one of the easier attempts he's had today and over it goes his name echoes around the south stand and beyond and Leeds might just have a winning lead here because with six minutes left to play they lead by 18 points to 10 yeah, we haven't seen a lot of Leeds attacking the Catalan line the 16 points to 10 up but when they've had the ball, I've enjoyed watching Croft and Frawley and Cam Smith all combine. Rowan Smith, you know, we'll know how important that combination of players are going to be for him if Leeds are going to do anything this year. Well, that ball went short, but Momoroski defuses that bomb and Leeds are back in possession. Yeah, he'll be delighted with the defensive effort. Rowan Smith will just be buzzing with how his side defended in that first half. Momoroski again. Grand final winner with Penrith, wasn't he, just a couple of years ago, Paul Momorowski. Shoulder injury last year, only a few games in the NRL with the Roosters, but Leeds are very happy with the man they've signed. There's O'Connor. Crawley to Croft. Croft with a dodge. Gets it away to Bentley, but still the swarm is on from the Catalan defence. Five minutes to go. O'Connor, oh, that's untidy. Touch to John. Incorrect. Incorrect play the ball. I'll explain it. I'll explain oh, it. James Bentley. There is some hands on you, but that doesn't warrant you throwing he's... yourself to the ground like a football. Yeah, he's just... incorrect. Play the ball. Play the ball. Back. He's trying to milk one. Jordan Abdul nudges him. James Bentley tries to milk one, and it's, it's backfired, hasn't it? Okay. Go. The squad is looking like a footballer by the referee, hasn't it, Sofra? That's a second row forward. <laughs> Not a good look, James. Well, there's still time in the game. Catalan need to strike twice. But they need to hurry. Wait. De Costa. Here's Abdul. Pissaria. In amongst all those Leeds defenders, is going no further. Go free, well done, mate. Da Costa dancing left to Nicarima. Nicarima with a bit of a spurt again. He just fancies taking them on, but Bentley's skirting with him and pulls him down. Da Costa on the inside. Now it comes back to Tarek Sims, who's carrying hard and with determination. One to go. Da Costa leads defence out quickly. Catalan doing well to keep it alive. Nikarima goes hunting back from where that defensive effort was made. Abdul now with a carry, looking for the handoff. Can't get it away. Leeds defence, rounds him up, puts him out of play. Abdul and Bentley, one of the friendliest of terms. Leeds, <laughs> well, the referee's got some sorting out to do again here. Leeds celebrating that collective defence. But they've showed all day. James Bentley's <laughs> You just know he's going to be around it. Whenever there's a melee of people, you see that tufty, taped head come peering out the other side. Abdul runs. Last play, it's Lewis Roberts, Bentley, Cam Smith, all work really hard together. And then it is Abdul nudges Bentley into the... Advertising audience, frustration from Jordan Abdul. Frustration. Well, the video ref 
referee at the moment is trying to make sense of this. And he's uh, communicating with the referee. Captain James Bentley. Captain Jordan Abdul. Referee being advised not to overreact. We've well, got a captain for Catalan, is it, John? Captain, boys, captain. Have you, have you made up already, lads? Yeah. I had the same conversation at the very start of the game. We're having the same conversation at the end of the game. We just don't need that, do we? Think about what we're doing. Don't need it. It's going to be a penalty against Catalan for the first push. All right? No more. Well done, ref. Simple. Simply get on with it. Penalty for Leeds. Three minutes to go. Yeah, Leeds will feel fairly confident from here. Yeah, James Bentley's skill is getting under players' skins and look, he competes hard. On the field, competes so hard, gets under players' skins. Maybe John Abdul's just bitten, nibbled at the wrong time, pushes him into the hoardings. And it's a relieving penalty with three minutes to go. You feel like the game might have gone here for the Catalan Dragons. There's McDonnell who uh, survived a, uh, an injury assessment a little earlier. South stand in terrific voice at the moment. Loving this. Two home games, two home wins, it looks like being there. They down Salford 22-16 here just a couple of weeks ago. And now this big, big victory over the Catalans. Akers out of dummy half. Frawley's there in support. All the way to Momorevsky. And now the chase is on. Miller leading it for Leeds, but back comes Johnson. He's come a long way. But for his pains, all he can do is concede another dropper. Yeah, it's impromptu and off the cuff again from Leeds. It's a great covering piece of defence from Tom Johnston, but it's Momorowski. Just spots, spots the space behind. Not bothered about just whimpering out to the end of this game of Leeds. They're attacking all the way to the end. But it's that kick and chase and the commitment to each other, being connected with each other, that's made this an exceptional Leeds performance. Well, they've gone short, they have to go short, and i tell you what, it's come off, but even though they've got the ball back, they're still 90 metres out, and there's only a minute and 14 seconds left to play. And they've got to get the, themselves over that line on a couple of occasions. A frustrating one for Catalan. So much to enjoy from their performance. I thought defensively they've been great also. Just maybe haven't taken or created enough opportunities. This man's had a wow of a game though, Dave. Chris Satter. Well, he was a man that broke the uh, the lead spirit for the first time, didn't he, with the uh, with the try, but Catalan have not been able to fail often enough since. So they're on the last play again here. Oh. Nikarima, and it goes to Abdul. Gonna try something a little different here for Yahas chasing this, but Hanley's there, catches safely. And Leeds will see the game out now in this final 20 seconds. Yeah, as the sun just peers its head out the clouds for the first time this evening. If you just joined joined us in the closing minutes, don't be fooled. It's been a dreadful conditions. Both sides struggle with that, but some performance here from Leeds Rhinos. O'Connor goes out of dummy half. Quite happy to take it on. Hooter will sign a shake of hands. Chef Walker and Rowan Smith up there on the coaching balcony. Leeds have done a job here. They had to absorb so much pressure from Steve McNamara's side in the opening 25 minutes, but given the opportunity, they struck twice, they had a half-time lead that they never relinquished, and this is a terrific win for Leeds here today. Two wins out of three.